What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now today, we're back to the lab, we're trying out something that I feel like might be pretty interesting. Uh, so this weekend the women's tournament uh, was hosted and the winner of the tournament was actually running a Groudon Charizard team. And I did see a couple of teams like this running around, so I do want to try my hand at it. Uh, so yeah, I have not tested this team at all whatsoever. Uh, I'm hoping for this to be sort of like lightning striking twice, sort of like when I was testing out the Zygarde team. Maybe I'll just get it right on the first try. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content and answer the comment question of the day. What do you think about Groudon in the format? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be mid? We've seen things like Groudon Venusaur and Groudon Charizard so far, and we've had some time to reflect on it. Do you think they're going to be any good? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and also before we start the video, I want to say uh, I am trying to save up for a used car so I can get around this summer to my lab research. If you guys want to help me out with that, uh, I will be doing some extra Patreon stuff. So I, I want to start a new series that's exclusive for Patreons uh, where I take a Pokemon that you guys vote on and I just do a series of videos trying to get it to the top of the VGC ladder. So yeah, if you guys want to be part of that, link in the description down below. It's just $1 a month to support me on Patreon or you could help me out with like twitch subscriptions but that's beyond the point let's go ahead and get into it so yeah uh, i feel like oh i'm sorry i have two life orbs i did not mean to do that you guys might have been yelling at me marcos why do you have two life orbs and i'm like well i wanted one for the dracozolt and one for the charizard but i guess charizard we can just go charcoal <laughs> i did not mean to do that i meant to uh switch that up before i started recording but hopefully hopefully now we'll be fine okay as we face another venu dawn team uh except we're not venu dawn we're venu zard or <laughs> Char Don? That sounds gross. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, I mean, this team doesn't like facing, let me take a look at what I've built here. I mean, Drake Assault's base 75 speed, jolly. I don't want to, like, lose a speed tie. Not a speed tie, but I don't want to, like, get outsped by modest, um, modest Venusaur. I feel like that'd be really annoying. Um, my best option might be going... Charizard and Whimsicott. That just seems okay. Like I bring, I can bring Groudon in the back, right? Uh, and my last Pokemon, Kartana doesn't seem awful. It actually seems really, really good in this matchup. I might have to Dynamax it, but I really want to Dynamax Charizard here. So I don't know. Let's go Kartana. Let's see. As they end up leading off Groudon, Regieleki, uh, which I'm actually pretty cool with. Regieleki is very rarely going to be running um, a, a Focus Sash. They're usually like Magnet or something. So what I could do here is, as long as they're not running Rock Slide, I should be fine. Um, I could just Tailwind Heat Wave, since they set up the Sun for me. I should be able to outspeed this Regieleki 100% of the time, so I'll go for that. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the butt. I should be able to outspeed and KO this thing. Uh, we'll Tailwind up here, do a lot of damage to both of these guys. As we do connect, we get a critical hit in the Regieleki, not that it really mattered, I think. And they do have Rock Slides, so they're going to knock out my Charizard. However, I think my Tailwind puts me in a pretty good spot. Uh, I can just send in my Kartana here, which is immune to anything Venusaur wants to go for, barring a Weather Ball. Uh, and while I am slightly concerned about Groudon going for a... Um, I am slightly concerned about Groudon going for a Fire move. They aren't really carrying them in this format. They're usually like Rock Slide, Precipice Blade, Swords Dance, Protect. So I'm willing to kind of roll the dice here. I'll go for a Max Airstream into uh, Venusaur, uh, as well as a Moonblast, and hope that that will do the job... Or maybe I should just KO Groudon. Uh, I'm kind of scared here. This is actually really tough. Let's go for Venusaur. I, I might have just screwed up. Alright. Tell me you're not running a fire move. So we get plus one on our Kartana. Plus one attack as well. Don't be running a fire move. He's got fire punch. Okay, well that really sucks. Let me see if I can somehow make my way out of this. I still have Whimsicott at full health. And there is a Kangaskhan. Uh, what I can do here is go for a double protect. And I might be able to Swords Dance. It depends if they try to Dynamax here. Dang, I'm really upset they were running a Fire Move on this thing. Let's see. They go for the Fake Out onto Groudon. Probably going to be going for a Max Flare. Interesting. Um, I still have a turn of Tailwind. I'm definitely slower than them is the issue, right? I think my play here is Precipice Blades into Moonblast on the Groudon. Since I should be outspeeding them for just one more turn. As long as they don't have, like... 
choice bands suck a bunch of quick attack. I should be able to knock out this Groudon. Uh, let's hope that this is enough. Come on, baby. We are not going to do enough. Uh, however, Whimsicott does survive, which is pretty good. I mean, I can Tailwind one more time and I might be able to pick up a win here. How much did I do there with that uh, Prespus Blades? 14% to the Groudon. I, I have to go for it again. Kind of wish I Swords Dance, to be honest. Uh, we'll Tailwind one more time. Let's see if I can somehow knock out this Groudon. We do, we do knock it out. So I think we just win here. Uh, I can go for another Prespice Blades and a Moonblast. Uh, and yeah, they do forfeit. Awesome. So I managed to play out of that. I really didn't expect the Fire Punch. I thought they'd be running Protect Swords Dance because they definitely have Prespice Blades, right? And ooh, we're facing the team that actually won. So this is the actual team that won, minus just a variation of it. Um, but it, it had Umbreon with Yawn and stuff, which was really scary. But um, we'll see how my team does versus this. The Dragazult is actually just there to help improve the uh, the matchup versus Kyogre Tornadus. So, how do we lead off here? I mean, their team doesn't like opposing Charizard, I assume. And I really like Charizard Whimsicott on lead. It just seems very solid. Uh, Grout on the back is usually pretty good. And I think my last Pokemon is going to be, once again, Kartana. Uh, and granted, I can deal with the opposing Charizard. I should be fine. As they lead off Regieleki and Charizard. Um, I should be able to Tailwind and knock out this Regieleki with just Charcoal Max Max Flare, I think. It might be a little bit close. Um, I also kind of don't want to go for it. Because I don't want to waste my Dynamax so early. I mean, the Tailwind helps me out a lot. We'll, or we'll go for the Max Wildfire and a Tailwind. And uh, Granted, we outspeed the Regieleki. I actually don't remember. Was the Regieleki Sash? <laughs> I don't remember. So forgive me. Um, I forgot the item on this thing. Tailwind up, we'll get our max fire move off. No, neither of us are sun boosted, as the Regieleki is actually faster. Uh, I wonder how, actually, was it Scarf? Is that what it was? I have to look at the team. I haven't looked at it. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm just dumb and I, did, and I do math bad. Let me see. I'm looking it up on Twitter. Uh, yeah. The Regi oh, there wasn't a Regieleki on that team. That was just a Scarf Regieleki. So they're running a variant too. And theirs just happens to be running that. <laughs> which is really unfortunate for me. So there's their Groudon. Um, I should be able to go for a Max Overgrowth to knock out their Groudon. Or even just a Max Airstream into them should be fine. As well as a Rock Slide. Or I could just double into the Charizard. Since I should be outspeeding it here. Because um, I don't know if my Rock Slide will just KO Raw. And I, I definitely still can hold on to Kartana. So I'd like to KO their Charizard above all else. So we'll go for the Rock Slide. Uh, hopefully we connect it here because it will knock out from this range. And we get a Speed Boost in our Groudon. Pick up a nice little KO there. They should be going for a Rock Slide themselves. As they actually missed my Charizard, which is really huge. And I think I'm in a winning position. <laughs> just because my Charizard's still alive. Uh, we should be doing pretty good here. There's their Kartana. Yeah, we're good to win. Um, I can just go for... They're usually Assault Vest, so I can just Max Wildfire into it. Um, and I'll actually just Swords Dance up for the meme. Swords Dance up, get in the Kartana, and that should be game. Leaf Blade plus Precipice Blades, as long as I don't miss, we are good to go. Yeah, I ended up uh, putting a Weakness Policy on the Groudon, because I figured it'd just be fun. <laughs> they had a Citrus Berry on the original version, but, uh, yeah. I'm wondering, that had to be Scarf Regieleki, right? Because 277 is the max speed. I'm running a Timid Charizard, right? Yeah, I'm Timid. And I'm hitting 167, so I'm well over 300. Yeah, that was Scarf Regieleki. Insane. Insane, man. Alright. So, so far, we're two for two. And that is a Stone Jenner. Interesting. Uh, Stone Jenner plus... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what to think about this. Stone Jenner plus Xerneas is kind of crazy, but along with that, they do have a, a Gothitelle, which could be kind of annoying. Um... They don't have much in terms of beating Assault Vest Kartana, so I might be inclined just to lead off that way. But also, just in general, Groudon Charizard doesn't look bad, but I really don't want to lose to Regieleki, really. Like, it'd be really annoying if I would lose to Regieleki here. Uh, Kartana definitely has to show up, is the issue. I think we'll go Groudon Charizard here. Um, or... No, I'd do that. You two... I keep forgetting to say GLHF. Uh, we'll go Groudon Charizard. I definitely want Whimsicott to help out in case, you know, Xerneas does get set up in Kartana in the back. So we're bringing the same four to like the first three matches as 
This just looks like decorate setup, to be honest. I should be able to swords dance up here and just go for the max airstream into the Xerneas. Or even max wildfire would do it since I'm going to be outspeeding it here, right? Because Xerneas is base 99, I'm timid. I can max wildfire very safely. If they Geomancy, I'll be outspeeding them. If they decorate into Geomancy, the Xerneas is still gone. Like, gone, gone. <laughs> Maybe they could Dynamax the Alchemy. Maybe I'm just getting memed on here. And they do Dynamax the Alchemy. That's terrifying. Uh, they protect the Xerneas. I'm so happy with the outcome. As long as they didn't max strike, I should be fine. Jeez, why does that do so much? Okay, terrified. But not out of it, technically. Um, Alright, at least the wildfire is up. What I can do here is... I don't think Xerneas takes a max strike from this range, but I also think Alchemy probably is fine. I don't want Alchemy to be... I don't want Alchemy to get these boosts, right? So I think it's my best interest just to double down on Xerneas with max airstream plus smart strike. Um, if the max airstream doesn't just, or if the smart strike doesn't just outright kill it, you know, we're, we're good. We get a speed boost. It's probably got mystical fire as the issue. So this thing's probably going to take out my Kartana. Yeah. All right. I didn't think about that going into there, but I mean, we're still not in a terrible position. I'm terrified of stone Jenner if it's there. I'm terrified of everything that could be there, but I think Charizard wins the 1v1 versus Alchemy. That is scary. That is scary. There's the Gothitel. Um, they're going to just trick room, I assume. So I'll taunt into them. As well as go for a, another wildfire. I feel like they trick room here. So if they're like Sash Taunt, I'm scared. Or not Sash Taunt. If they're like Sash Trick Room, it'd be really annoying. Um, they're fake out. I'm going to get rid of them first. Since I still have as much turns of sun as I need. Uh, G-Max Finale, they just straight up knock me out. Dang, okay. I'm going to have to knock this thing out somehow. What's left in the back? I should have set up a Tailwind probably. If there's a Stone Jenner, I probably lost. Or maybe not. I think if there's a Stone Jenner, it can still win. Alright, there it is. As long as it's not like a Salt Vest. So we'll Solar Beam here. And we can probably take a hit from Alchemy. I hope. No, we just lost. Oh my god, it's Sash Stone Jenner. We got memed on right there. We got absolutely memed on. Okay, so that's scary. Um, interesting. I will say that. It is very interesting, and I want to know more about it. And I think here, like, Drake is all just Nene's this team, if we play it right. We have to be careful with Intimidates. Granted, like, yeah, but feel good. Feel good. Uh, we'll go Dracozolt on lead in case they want to go Wim plus uh, Kyogre. Hmm. Yeah, Whimsicott, Dracozolt. Grout on the back for Sun doesn't seem awful. And I could either go Porygon 2 or Kartana. I think Kartana will net me a lot more value in this game, especially if I decide to Dynamax it. I just have a lot of really threatening physical attackers on my side of the field. Uh, and I feel like... As long as I can win a speed tie, turn one, this should be a pretty easy match. Yeah, I mean, they would have to bring Incineroar, right? I would assume they bring Incineroar to this matchup. As they go Spectre or Whimsicott, which isn't great for me, um, what I could try to do is taunt their Whimsicott. And if I can pull this off, I'll be in a pretty good spot. It's likely a speed tie, but I think it's well worth the risk. Granted, my other options are losing a Pokemon. So we'll taunt the Whimsicott. Hopefully they're not timid. Alright, we do win the speed tie, I assume. As they try to Tailwind, they do connect a Will-O-Wisp, which is super unfortunate. I thought they would just go for it, maybe like a Max Quake or something. Um, but, let's try to pick up a piece here. Go for a Moonblast Max Airstream. That should KO the Whimsicott. So no Tailwind... Okay, maybe they survive. How much did that do? My max... Oh, they're Koba Berry? Really? Dang, dude. That's crazy. Uh, I can still try to pick up a KO here. I'll go for a max lightning on the Spectre. Moonblast should do enough to Whimsicott. And then I can keep my Tailwind up for the rest of the game. Since they shouldn't be able to knock out this thing. Alright. Um, get in the... Groudon. And I go for a double protect. Oh, I can't protect. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Why am I so stupid? Uh, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm gonna live. <laughs> hear me out. They're not gonna fake out the whimsy guy. Hear me out. If I get the swords dance off, I'll be so happy. But there's no way I take the Spectre hit. Okay, they fake out that thing. 
They gave me the Spectre, which is actually pretty great. And there's the Kyogre. Um, how do I play this out? I can't lose Kartana. Definitely can't afford to lose Kartana, right? I think my play here is give them the Groudon. Maybe... Mm, what would be ideal is somehow getting Kartana on the field next to Groudon to guarantee I take a hit. Because they, they just go for like Water Spout here, right? They'd have to double into Whimsicott to KO me. Uh, I'm going to try something kind of crazy. How many turns of Taunt are left? I think this is the last turn to Taunt. I'm kind of concerned. Um, I can go for Protect and get in Kartana, but then if they target into Whimsicott, I, I lose the Kartana, right? If they Dynamax early, I'm also in a bad spot. I think I just Protect and Moonblast and hope that this will put me in a good spot. Because Weakness Policy is really helpful here. Alright. Origin Pulse. They missed the Whimsicott, which is huge. They Parting Shot. Shook off the Taunt. That's actually really great. I can go for P-Blades and Tailwind here. And as long as, long as I connect it on doing Cinder, I probably win. That's all that really matters. Connect on Incineroar. Uh, and the Origin Pulse Mist didn't really matter too much on Whimsicott. Okay, cool. I win. <laughs> yeah, all right. That was that was kind of insane. Because um, now I always taunt their Whimsicott. And I just go for Leaf Blade and the Kyogre. Since I'm faster than them. Yeah, okay. That was... Oh my god. I almost got destroyed there. <laughs> I, was, I was playing so bad on lead, guys. I won't lie. I was playing so bad on lead. Uh, do not do not play like me there. All right. Ooh. Okay. So this is another interesting Sun Team. I feel like this entire video has just been rise of weather. Like we had, we've seen a lot more like grout on in this video than we have in most videos I've made prior to this. Uh, what I can do, what I can do here, is I can probably go Whimsicott on lead, uh, but I have to be really careful with that with that Venusaur. I'll go Whimsicott Charizard on lead. Uh, in the back, I definitely want to bring Groudon. Groudon just seems phenomenal here. And uh, Kartana once more seems really, really good. Granted, they don't have Weather Ball on this thing. Okay. So, I mean, there's very little reason not to just do this. Because what, what they're, they're going to do is they're going to fake out the Whimsicott and they're probably going to go for either a Max Strike or a... Um, or a Thunderbolt into my Groudon. Discharge. Okay, so Incineroar here does not enjoy that. Solar Power. Uh, I'm kind of concerned about the Max Strike, to be honest, but the amount that I can gain from Tailwind Swords Dance is so big that I'm kind of willing to go for it despite it being, on the surface, an absolutely terrible play if they decide to Dynamax on this thing. So I I'm going to do it, right? I'm gonna do it. Or maybe I just don't. I'm not. I'm just gonna press with blades. <laughs> I'm just gonna press with blades. It's, it's free damage. And I should have gone for it, to be honest. Ah, eh, no, nah, maybe I shouldn't have. All right. I think, I don't, I don't think I, I regret that turn. There's the Venusaur. I can just taunt you, to be honest. I'll just taunt you. Uh, and I'll go for another P-Blades, since I should be able to get it off for free. They can't sleep me or anything. And if they decide to Dynamax, they lose to Charizard. That's fine. Cool. Uh, Charizard comes in here. And because the sun's up, uh, I can pretty freely go for a max airstream on the Groudon. Not that I'm scared of Venus or anything, right? Um, yeah, I'll just do that. And we'll go for a Moonblast on the Venusaur in case it's Focus Sash. Max airstream should do it, right? I could also just go for Wildfire. Like, I'm going to be faster than this thing, regardless of what they do, since they don't have Tailwind up. Uh, yeah, I'll go for the Wildfire. I gain a lot more out of that. So... Moonblast into Venusaur to break a Sash. Max Wildfire into Groudon, because it's free. There we go. Critical hit definitely did not matter. As they go for a Max Ooze, and I'm fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, I can just go for the Moonblast onto this boy. And Venusaur can't protect, so we can Max Airstream into that thing. They can go for a Discharge or whatever. There's no way I lose my Charizard here, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I shouldn't be so sure. Maybe I should be absolutely terrified. Let me protect. <laughs> Let me protect the Whimsicott. I don't want to lose that yet. 
Uh, and I'll go for the Max Airstream onto the char or onto the Venusaur. Uh, and this is actually... Oh. Wow, wait, hold on. How did I lose that thing? Oh, they targeted into the Venusaur. Or they targeted into the, uh, into the Whimsicott with, um, the Max move. And it was Max Flare. They did have Weather Ball. Wow, that's scary. I mean, I am Assault Vest and the Solar Power is gone, so I should be good. Sacred Sword. I got paralyzed. I got paralyzed. Come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Don't do this to me right now. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, we're good. GG. <laughs> GG. <laughs> that was terrifying. I really didn't like that I got paralyzed there. All right. Um, I mean, yeah, Assault Vest Kartana is just so nice. And this is an interesting team. We see Dog, right? But Dog next to what looks like a weird Series 7 team almost. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this feels like a good opportunity to lead off Groudon. Yeah, there isn't much that Groudon can't really deal with here. Uh, Groudon Charizard especially, like there isn't too much they can, you know, together not deal with. Because I can just go for P-Blades plus Heat Wave and pretty much knock out anything they want to go for. Uh, and in the back here, I definitely like Whimsicott for Tailwind. I am speed crept to outspeed, um, if you didn't notice. I am. I do have a little bit of speed on this thing. I have enough speed to outspeed uh, Spectre or or not Spectre, Calyrex Horse. They're, why can't I speak? Calyrex Ghost, not Calyrex Horse. They're all horse. Um, under Tailwind, so. we just got Dragapult. That's just going to be beat up. It's definitely just going to be beat up, right? Hmm. Oh, wait, no. What am I saying? That makes no sense. I mean, I meant to say, like, beat up weakness policy, but that also makes no sense. Uh, I don't want to get Will-O-Wisp. Every time I see, like, Whimsicott and Dragapult, I think beat up in my mind because of, like, series previous series like shenanigans series 7 and series 5 um but there's nothing for them to beat up on this team i mean i suppose i could swords dance max airstream and probably be fine they could fake tears which would be terrifying tailwind max wormwind all right so i think i kind of like this trade uh, their Max Wormwind did 49%, unfortunately, and my Solar Power actually puts me in a pretty annoying spot. But I don't think I lose much by going for another Swords Dance and another Max Airstream into the Whimsicott. Because here's what's going to happen, right? They're going to learn my, my thing, right? They're going to learn my thing. They're going to do that. Swords Dance again. I'm at plus one speed, and they have a Tailwind, but guess who is going to get their Tailwind up? Granted, they don't have Taunt. As long as they don't have Taunt, I get my Tailwind up, and I really hope that they don't, because if they do, ooh, I don't like this. Uh, we'll Tailwind up here. We're good. They're actually still faster, which is disappointing, but um, I should knock out this Dragapult at plus two attack. Maybe I'm just playing awful right now. I'm probably just playing awful. Getting the Kartana. I probably just played so bad. They have one turn left at Tailwind, so what I could try to do here is protect my Groudon versus... Alright, never mind. Protecting the Groudon is no longer an option. Um, I think my play here is going to be to Precipice Blades again. Hope I can take a Sucker Punch and just go for the Aerial Ace KO on the Whimsicott. Come on, plus two KO. Awesome. Awesome. Groudon, you're doing good. I'm just playing super hyper offensive right now, and it probably wasn't the best idea. Zacian crowned. Um, they can tailwind and outspeed me is the issue. That's the main issue I'm staring down right now. Let me go for a protect here. Assuming they want to KO the Groudon, um, I can probably put myself into a better spot by protecting and going for Aerial Ace on Whimsicott. Awesome. Awesome. And I'm not in a terrible position, but I'm also not in an ideal position. <laughs> Because they can just KO my Groudon here, and I think I'm going to be in range of close combat if this uh, Smart Strike doesn't KO. Which it won't. I can guarantee you that. Smart Strike. We do about half. Uh, it has come down to what fighting move they have. Never mind. We, we just lose. <laughs> GG, well played. I mean, I will say the last couple of matches I played way too fast and loose. I, I'll say I, pl I played way too fast and loose, but I definitely like the idea of a Groudon Charizard team with th with these in the back. I think Dragazult has a lot of potential in the format. I want to try it out a bit more. Uh, next time I want to lab a Raccoonid, but 
yeah, let me know what you guys want to see uh, in an upcoming video in-game content. This is just like a labbing session. Uh, let me know what Pokemon you want me to use on my Patreon series where I try to take it to the top of the official ladder. Or not the official ladder, but the showdown ladder. And yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Have a nice night, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.